Hi everyone, I'm Caroline Hill, Editor-in-Chief of Legal IT Insider, and I'm joined today by Tyson Wolf, who is Customer Success Manager at Pingplotter. Hi Tyson. Hi Caroline, thanks for having me here. Thank you so much for you coming on to do a product demo. Um, so, but let me just do a short introduction and then mostly I'm just going to hand over to you. Um, so Pingplotter, for those of you who don't know, it shows you your end-to-end network conditions from the device's point of view. Um, whether that's an office server or remote worksta- workstation. Um, jump in if I've got anything wrong. So the company's been around since around since 2000. Um, so essentially it helps to, you to test your connections. It shows you what's wrong and recommends what you can do about it. Um, and it matters, particularly in the legal space at the moment, um, where you're, I know you're gaining more traction because of attorneys working remotely um, and it helps monitor attorneys internet performance um, which interestingly it helps to improve relationships potentially with IT where the attorney is saying it's all IT's fault Um, and IT can show the attorneys perhaps that there's with objective evidence of what the issue is and it might be at the attorney's end in terms of their connection. Um, if I got that right, Tyson. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you got that spot on. I, like you mentioned, you know, Pink Flutter has been in the business for 20 years. And now that we've been kind of around the block a bit, we've really kind of shifted into a cloud product. And so that's what I'll be showing off today. Okay. Well, look, over to you. I'm, I'm looking forward to the demo. Right on. Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and then just kind of give a quick brief overview of what, what Ping Potter looks like and then kind of want to walk into a, a scenario, just go over a quick scenario about how uh, IT teams can help lawyers solve their IT, uh, solve their internet connection problems using Ping Potter Cloud. Uh, so I'm sure most of the audience is familiar at least somewhat with what, what Ping Potter is. It uses ping and trace route to collect network data and graph that network data over time. Down here below, you see that in the timeline graph here. And we've got our latency graph up here. And so the reason this matters and why this is so important is because you know, we've, we've all really come to rely on the internet. And especially during the COVID-19 pandemic, you know, there was a big shift to, to remote work. And lawyers who work remotely often experience network connection issues, as you mentioned. And those connection issues are quite costly for them because their time is just so valuable. And lawyers, well, they also happen to be professional arguers. And when the IT team tries to go and convince them that that problem is actually at their home internet connection, it's, it's difficult to convince them uh, just because of the nature of their, of their position. And so this really leads to uh, decreased productivity and a mistrust between the IT team and the lawyer. And so we've developed Pink Potter Cloud to kind of help alleviate both of those pain points is we want to help lawyers solve their problems and we want to provide objective evidence to help kind of create an environment where the lawyer and their IT team are working together to solve the problem rather than fighting over it. And, you know, one of, a, one of our higher end uh, clients, Levenfield Pearlstein, they're a, and I, uh, they're a law firm based out of Chicago. And they use Pink Plotter for exactly this. They found that by using Pink Plotter, they've been able to mend those relationships with their, between their lawyers and their IT team and increase their productivity because now they, they can get to resolutions quicker. And so to kind of illustrate this, I want to walk through a common scenario with you and just kind of show you how, how to use Bing Bar and, and get the results that we need. So I'll show you how to deploy an agent, get it out there and collect the data and analyze it. And then I'll kind of show you how you would share that data in a constructive way. And so let's say, for example, that, that John, one of my lawyers, emails in and he's pissed off because... Zoom didn't work for him during his call and, and now he can't, he just can't do anything. He's blaming the VPN. And I, as the IT tech, I know it's not the VPN, right? It's not the VPN, but now I have to be able to convince John 
that it's not the VPN and, and give him the evidence that he needs to feel confident and comfortable that it's his problem to fix and I can help him with that. So to start that off, uh, what we would do is we would need to first get an agent out to him. And the way we do that is uh, by sending him a link. And we've actually made this as easy as possible. We go to this web page to download the agent. And actually what we'll do is we'll just copy the link to the same web page and we send that out to John. John will come to this same page. He'll download the agent, get it installed on his machine. And as soon as it's installed and, and online and connected to, to the Pinkwater servers, it'll show up in my dashboard right here. So he'll pop up there. And the way I've got it configured, I've used this machine, this agent template. So this means that with the template, I can use that same link multiple times. Uh, so now I've just got a link in my back pocket so that anytime anybody calls in or emails in with an issue, I send them that same link, they download the agent and they get it installed on their own. I don't, you know, I don't have to have that back and forth of, of showing them how to use command line or showing them how to, to install something. Uh, they can do that all on their own. Saves me a, a little bit of time. Along with that, I also get have the option to set up some preset targets. So for example, the one I've got here is going to Google DNS. And this is the one that we generally, generally recommend for just uh, general internet connectivity. And so using it as a preset target, it'll now start tracing to this target automatically. That's the end point. And then it'll just collect that data. And after about 10 minutes, we should be able to get enough results to start analyzing that data and, and look through it. And so I've already, I've got an agent out there. It's actually on my machine. So I'm just gonna pull this one up and we'll look at the data for this one. So what we're looking at now is the trace from my machine out to Google DNS. And we get a bunch of stats here. And we know that this can be quite daunting. There, there's a lot of data here and it might not be easy to understand what's going on. So we've developed uh, an automated analysis tool to help interpret this data. And this automated analysis tool, we call it Pinkwater Insights. So after about 10 minutes, you click on the Insights button. It's gonna scan through the last 24 hours of data and it's gonna provide a little report for you and tell you exactly what's going on. And so this first part right here, this is the signal quality summary. And really what this is saying is it's giving you, it's kind of, it's rating this connection for specific services. So we've got it set up to do remote desktop, video calling, VoIP and web and email. And you can select which one you actually wanna be looking at. Since we're talking about Zoom, we're gonna leave it on video calls. And so this is saying that for 6.7% of this time, I, my signal was poor. I would not have been able to make a video call. It just flat out wouldn't have worked. And then down below, we get the top three events. These are the network events that contributed to poor network quality. And so down here below, you can see it kind of picked them out on this on the timeline graph. If I hover over it, it's going to highlight the hops in that route, the devices that are contributing to that poor network signal quality. It's, it's all about finding the culprit. Where do I start troubleshooting? And so here it's giving, I'm just gonna click into this. And so now we've zoomed in on that event on the timeline graph down here below. You can see that we've got some red, which is the packet loss. And then we've got this jagged black line here, which is our latency moving up and down, up and down. And so Insights has really pulled that out and said, okay, you've got some packet loss and this packet loss is starting at hop number one, which in this case is my home router. So now I, I, I know where the problem is. I also get down here below, I can see that um, some of these hops aren't responding. So it's pulled those out and said, don't worry about these ones. You can ignore this, this is okay. So now I've got a pretty good idea of what, what the culprit is. It's my home network, right? And now what really happens is we have to be able to convince John. We still have to convince John that this is in fact his issue. 
So the way we do that is by creating a live share link. And a live share link is a, it, it grants read-only access to this same data. So I'm gonna create this live share link. We can give it a name. We'll just call it John's Internet Issues. And we can add some notes on router problems. And this is just kind of for our, for our reference later on. And I create this link and now I've got a, a link that I can send out to John and he'll be able to see exactly what we were looking at. So he gets into the link, he sees that, okay, this report is saying, I've got sustained packet loss starting at, at hop number one. And now he can actually go and read more about this on Pink Plotter's website. He'll be able to read more about what, what it means to have sustained packet loss and then be able to get some solutions. And so with this, with this link and with all this data collected, the conversation really changes, right? It's no longer this back and forth of, hey, it was the VPN's fault. No, it wasn't, it's not the VPN, it's your router. Well, we're changing that conversation now. We're making it more constructive by providing evidence and lawyers, well, they get evidence, right? That's, that's what they do, they collect evidence and that's what they need in order to, to understand what's going on. Do they, do they understand this in terms of the live feed, et cetera, and the, the evidence that you're presenting them with? Do, do they understand it? Is it sufficiently simple for them to go, ah, yeah, this is obviously my fault? Well, we've kind of played around with the UI to help make that as easy as possible. Uh, you know, red is certainly bad, right? So if I, if I see in the red, I'll be able to see that. The text, we kind of rely on them on a little bit. They understand what's going on. They understand the latency and the packet loss. So it's more of a conversation now between the tech and the lawyer. Uh, they'll be able to, you know, pull this up, talk about it together. The tech can say, look at this right here, this black jagged line, this is your latency. And that latency is what is causing your problems. And that latency is starting at your, at your home router. And so this is something you need to work on. And the tech can provide suggestions, on what, what they could do about it. And this live share link isn't only meant for the lawyer. You can also share this with, maybe it's the ISP's fault, right? Maybe the ISP needs to be able to see this data and, and they can access it and look and, and understand what's going on. And now they have the evidence that they need to be able to go fix their problem. And that's really what Ping Potter is all, is, is all about, right? It's creating this collaborative, environment where we really just work, we all want the same thing. We want the lawyer to be able to do his job. And this is how you get there. It's, it's interesting that the fault, the fault thing, isn't it? You know, it's interesting that kind of friction that, that and I've, I've right. seen anyone who's ever worked with a law firm understands this, right? That <laughs> the kind of, but, um, and it's interesting that this is the way it's kind of pitched that it's a kind of way of resolving you know that kind of finger pointing but actually in reality it does cause huge tensions anybody who's ever worked in a law firm knows this um and then and then i suppose you can get on to the potentially how to fix it right that's where you would hope to get to so you get through that initial right. and then i guess you would use this to go right well that what, what are the next steps exactly yeah and that's that's kind of where we'd like to head a little bit more stepping into providing suggestions and, and walking somebody through being able to fix their problem. Yeah, okay. Um, so so um, at Levenfield Plastine, so, so it, it, it helped to resolve the issues and create a better environment. Absolutely, yeah. They, they started to find, again, that the, the relationships between their lawyers and their IT team, it was just, it was a much more constructive and healthy relationship um, because again, you're just talking about data now, and you're not you're not fighting about it. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Well, look, I think we'll keep it. Um, we'll keep that. I, I find this really interesting, um, and we'll we'll revisit. I think you know. Let, let us know. You know. Let's let's keep in touch. Um, if anyone's Absolutely. got any, if anyone's got any questions about the demo, um, Tyson, do you want to give a contact contact email in case anybody wants to contact you for, with further questions? Absolutely. You can always reach us at talk to us at pinkplotter.com. 
And our website is also a great resource. If you want to go to pingphoto.com slash insider, that'll get you into a uh, specific use case for lawyers and, and how to use Pink Potter for that and get you access to that, that uh, interview that we had with, with Levin Phil Perlstein as well. Mm, okay. All right, well, look, thank you for that. That's really interesting. And um, I appreciate your time. Absolutely, Carol. Thank you for having us again. Appreciate it. Okay.